Hello and welcome to another mod spotlight. Today I'm taking a look at hopper ducks, which add a basic piping system to Minecraft based around the vanilla hoppers. While the vanilla hoppers can move items from place to place, they do have their limitations. For example, if I put a chest here, a hopper here, and a chest here, and put these seeds in here, it will move into this chest. But let's say I instead want a chest here. A hopper can't really do that because it's above and hoppers can only go to the side and down. But this is where a hopper duck comes in. Hopper ducks are made like this. They're a lot cheaper to make than hoppers and you get four per recipe. So if I attach this to the chest here and if I just right click it automatically it goes to the nearest hopper when I place it anyway. So uh, yeah, now it's connected upwards. And if I put the seeds in here, it will go up. So this ability to send items upward are the hopper duck's main advantage over the hopper, as well as their cheaper recipe, but they do also have a smaller hitbox. So if I have uh, blocks around like uh, this, it's hard to reach around like behind the hopper, yet I can reach behind the hopper duck because they don't take up the full block hitbox like a hopper does. Now while a hopper duck can send items into an inventory, it cannot pull them out of an inventory. So if I get rid of this real quick and set it up again, like uh, this, I put the chest there, have it pulling out, but it will not pull the items out of here. To do that, you still will need a hopper. So you'll need to use a combination of hopper ducks and hoppers to move items around. And as I touched on before, when you place down a hopper duck, it will connect itself to adjacent hopper ducks or hoppers, like so. And if you shift place it, it will connect itself to the block you were placing it on instead. Hello, sheep. And uh, yeah, if you want to change the direction of it though, you can left click with a stick to rotate one way and right clicking will go the opposite direction. And in addition to hopper ducks, this mod also adds a graded hopper, which is a hopper with a filter on it. Now, if you come over here, I set this up earlier and I'll explain how these work. If you look here, you can see it and it has its own inventory here and whatever blocks you put in, it will have in its filter to allow. So here's how it works. Only items matching its filter will be pulled out of the input above it. Only items matching its filter will be output in the inventory it's facing. And items matching its filter cannot be pulled out from below by another hopper. So in this little system, I have this one chest here connected to hopper ducts to send it to this hopper. Then I have a graded hopper this is input in that has a filter for cobblestone. So only cobblestone will continue this way, while any other block will be pulled down here. But this hopper also has a graded hopper below it with dirt. So when dirt hits this, it will pull it out before it has a chance to be sent onward. And then any other blocks will end up here. So if I put just these dirt, cobblestone, sand, and gravel in this chest here, the cobble will end up here. The sand and gravel end up here and the dirt will end up here. So as we see, the cobble all came here. I think that it's on gravel now. I probably should have done less than 16 to speed this up. And the dirt will come here once it finishes with the sand here. So yeah, as you can see, you can make a nice sorting piping system with it, even if it is a tad complicated at times or have a bit of issues. At first I had a bit of an issue because uh, I had the cobblestone hopper here and it wouldn't pull below it because it would only pull dirt in that one. So I had to rearrange it a bit, but you can use this to make a nice sorting system once you figure out how the hoppers work. And ta-da. So all the items went in the chest they were supposed to. Anyway, that's all for this mod spotlight. Personally, I love this mod because it adds a lot more options for piping and sorting. It's still keeping it very minimal and based on the vanilla hopper system. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this mod spotlight. And until next time, goodbye.